Pyroclastic flows are hot and fast moving avalanches of rocks, dust and gas that cannot be outrun. Death is almost certain for those in their way. They are very destructive and a major cause of death and severe injury in volcanic eruptions. They can occur at many volcanoes around the world. The high speeds, high temperature and the large rocks in pyroclastic flows make them very destructive. Buildings can be set on fire, badly damaged and even completely destroyed. There are lots of examples of villages and towns being buried under the hot deposits of pyroclastic flows. The town of St. Pierre in the Caribbean was devastated by the eruption of Mount Pele in 1902. 29,000 people died instantly. Just one person survived, suffering terrible burns. The casts of bodies in the Roman city of Pompeii in Italy testify to the instant death by people caught in a pyroclastic flow when the Vesuvius volcano erupted in AD 79. Since 2010, Many victims at Cinebrong Volcano, Indonesia, have been caught in the exclusion zone, having returned to work on their farms or watched the activity unfold. Some pyroclastic flows can flatten forests and pick up objects as large as trucks and throw them around to form lumps of twisted metal. They cause severe trauma and burns on humans and animals, almost always leading to death. There is no protection for those in areas affected by pyroclastic flows. Those hiding in buildings suffocate as they breathe in hot volcanic ash, suffer severe burns, or are buried under the hot deposits. The only realistic protection is not to be there. Lives are saved when communities are evacuated when threatened by the possibility of a pyroclastic flow. If the authorities request people to leave, then do so immediately following any instructions given. Do not return until you are told it is safe to do so.